counters. And that's fine. But I think something that freaks a lot of people out in the environmental community is that once you sort of deplete, or not deplete a natural resource, but like de deplete um, like an environmentally preserved area, okay, which can certainly be done, you, you can't really go back. It's irreversible. Yeah, so you have this idea that like, lots of things we do in the environment are irreversible. But in fact, it's not true, right? Weren't I would offer the, th two or three points. And so Weren't like all the trees, 97% of trees in North America cut down? I wish I had my PowerPoints up for you. So, and so if you look, the, the place I love to camp in the Adirondacks is Cranberry Lake. It's in the northwest corner. Um, if you took a picture of that 150 years ago, and I show it in my class now, it was totally bald. Every single animal that was endemic to that community was gone. The beavers were gone, the deers were gone, the moose were gone, everything was gone. Today, I stood on the top of Bear Mountain and took the same picture. You would not recognize it, certainly as it means. So yeah, it's second growth. So that tree is only 100 years old. They may not have the same character as the one. But the idea that you couldn't have that back is, is, is simply wrong. And by the way, that was not done by any government effort. The second thing I'd remind you is every use of our, every piece of land is irreversible. So yes, if I chop down Cranberry Lake tomorrow, if I don't chop it down, right, like I, it's in its natural state, it's irreversible. But I has, also, I'm not going to have a theme park there. It has option values either way. Sure. And the point is, like, if I, it, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe what I do with that land may actually preserve more environmental goods for some other use. So I build a research facility, or you take a little bit plot, plot of land to put a small college so people can study that ecosystem, so that they can preserve larger ecosystems somewhere else. It's it's not like all or nothing. All mm -hmm. these decisions, mm -hmm. they are marginal ones. And that's the problem with irreversibility. Nobody, right? No reasonable person is saying, let's go to Arizona and fill in the entire Grand Canyon. And it's either do it all or nothing. Like, these are all incremental changes. And again, I guess over the long run, long accumulations of that can mean we've done a lot to the Grand Canyon. But we're talking about putting a, 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 a hundred foot boardwalk out over the canyon in one small spot. Mm -hmm. And maybe that does desecrate it and you can't get that one spot back. But maybe that does preserve the other thousand miles of it. What about species? 